Our bodies are driven to eat by hunger. Well, they should be. Oftentimes, there are other things besides hunger that affect our eating habits. Today, let's explore how we can become more aware of those things that may drive us to make poor nutritional choices. Let's first identify two types of hunger. Physiological hunger includes physical symptoms like that, that empty feeling that we get in our stomachs when we're hungry, or headaches, or even lightheadedness. But these physical symptoms are a sign that your body needs more fuel in the form of calories and nutrients. Psychological hunger occurs when there are no physical indicators that it's time to refuel. Don't we always have times when we just feel like we want to eat something? Times like these are usually caused by an environmental or an internal trigger, like the smell of freshly baked goods, social situations, or mood. How would you complete this statement? I tend to eat when not hungry, when I see food, smell food, perhaps it's when I'm with certain individuals or in certain social situations, Maybe I tend to eat a bit more in work situations or when I'm drinking alcohol or perhaps on holidays and vacations. Maybe it happens when I sit watching TV or I'm on the telephone or perhaps it happens when I'm sad, I'm frustrated, I'm angry, I'm bored or just depressed. Triggers cause us to react by either overeating or choosing unhealthier foods. So it's really important for us to both identify the trigger and then to tackle it by adapting or avoiding situations where we mindlessly eat. When attending a social gathering, I'm fairly certain the table is gonna be full of sweets, crunchy things, dip, and a lot of cheese. So I bring a healthy dish that I can share. I also make sure before attending that I drink enough water and perhaps even a meal replacement shake. These steps ensure that I adapt to the social situation. True confessions. Writer's block triggers within me the feeling that I'm hungry. So to overcome this, I avoid my fridge and my pantry by choosing to write someplace else. If you identify your personal triggers, you'll be better equipped to adapt or avoid them for the health of it. 